Welcome back everyone. Royce and I are out here today doing a little bit of training on uh, my kick bike. It's the first year that he's really learning how to do some pulling. He's two years old right now. Uh, so we're just getting him all harnessed up there. Uh, he's learning how to pull me attached to my bike. And I've got something really cool to share with you guys we'll be doing this winter. I'll be unboxing a kick sled. It's got him all harnessed up here. Uh, it's got a beautiful sort of padded harness here. It goes across the front of his chest. I uh, don't think it's the best fit for him. I'm kind of experimenting, um, but it kind of uh, pulls sort of right there. As you can see, it's called the Ultra Paws. Let's head inside now. I'm going to take a look at the new kick sled that I bought us to uh, use for the winter. The snow's on the way. So we're back in the garage. It's starting to get really rainy out there again. So this is what I'll be up to this winter. And that's thanks to you guys here on uh, YouTube. I was able to buy uh, an Esla kick sled for Royce and I this winter. So it's going to be lots of fun. Let's unbox it. You'll have to forgive me, the quail are in the background. I still have six of the girls. The one over there is in its own crate because it isn't uh, the best temperament, but it's a good egg layer. Right now they're on 16 hours of light and I'm getting pretty good egg production. So from six birds, sometimes I'll get eight to nine eggs a day. So I'm getting a few that are laying two eggs a day, which is awesome. So they're gonna be in here over winter uh, in their little insulated garage here. So it should be just fine for them. All right, back to the unboxing. So here we go. Here's the Esla Spark Kick Sled. This is the T6 Large. Um, just because you guys watch my videos and support me so much, I was able to save up and get this kick sled. So thank you guys. You get to see all of our adventures on this kick sled. So we can do uh, sledding sports uh, when the snow starts to fall. And I'm here in Northern Ontario right now and parts of Northern Manitoba. They're getting up to 50 centimeters of snow. So it won't be long and I'll be out, uh, out there doing the sledding. So let me grab a knife and we'll open this up and see what it looks like. Oh, I'm getting excited. Let's take a look at this. This is a sled that's handmade in Finland. They've been making these sleds since about 1933. What you're looking at is a nice solid birch frame there and stainless steel. It's gonna be a beautiful sled. Got a few little things over there I'll show you in just a sec, but uh, it's got a little seat here. Let's see what it looks like. There we go, we can fold this up right on. Okay, let's get to building this. So as you can see right out of the box, um, it takes its uh, original shape there, which is really nice. We just have to sort of set up the seat now and put on the runners and there's some reflectors as well. So here's a little photo of what we're aiming to produce here. So you can see there's a little seat there. The seat actually has, uh, supports up to 300 pounds, which is great. And then we'll put on the, um, the bridle and the tug line for the dog. And of course we just got to put the runners on. So that's kind of what we're looking like. It's a big sled, um, you can fold it up and it doesn't weigh that much either. So the T6 sled that I'm building right now is designed for a person that's between five foot and five foot nine. They have lots of different sleds out there, even kids sleds and stuff like that. So you can see if you're interested in one of these sleds, either just for yourself going through the woods in the winter time or to hitch up a dog to, um, you just have to check which uh, would work for your frame and your body weight. Um, so this one, uh, like I said, the seat can carry up to 300 pounds. You can have like another person on there. Uh, you can have, you know, some people put like grocery bags on there, their backpacks, whatever, as they're kind of going through the woods. Um, this doesn't float above the snow, so you definitely want to use this on a groomed trail or, you know, uh, kind of on a, like a smooth surface of a lake, you know, that's frozen over. It's traditionally kind of what they were used for, for getting around in the wintertime. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I mentioned earlier that the, um, the, it was actually stainless steel. It's actually galvanized steel. So uh, it's a really, really solid piece of equipment. All right, here are the instructions in Finnish. If anybody is Finnish and you could read this, it's awesome. But let's go find the English. So it looks like the first thing we're going to be doing uh, is attaching the seat support braces. So let's uh, let's do that, then we'll assemble it. All right, first what I'm doing, I just want to raise this little bumper up here to, so it's kind of uh, straight. Um, so when you get it, it's sort of folded like this with a bolt through here. So what I've done is I've taken that bolt out, and now I'm going to replace it right there. Um, so we have that, so we can kind of uh, go through the snow before we raise the seat. So I don't mention that in the manual, but uh, that's uh, what you got to do. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting up the seat and I'm pulling up the handle here and I've loosened off um, some bolts here that are at the back. I've loosened and taken these off. And when we lift up the seat, what you're going to see is this is the support for the seat right there. It's this little beam and there's one on each side and they actually attach right down in here, right by that bolt. So we're going to take that bolt off and then attach the uh, seat. That right on there, we'll put the bolt in. 
attach it just like that, just down here. Make sure it's all nice and tight on both sides. Now the next and final step is just securing the top of the seat down here. Um, it got it goes like that on top of these bolts right here. So you're just gonna put them there and just sort of tighten them up at the back. Uh, you loosen them off when you want to fold uh, the sled down for travel. There we go. So if you want to sort of flatten this down and put it on the top of your car to drive or whatever, you can just loosen this off and you can lift this seat and, and fold it right back down. All right, so there's the last little one right here we're tightening up. And again, these loosen off uh, so that you can take this sled and uh, fold the seat right flat. So when you're, uh, you know, you can strap it to your roof racks to get somewhere. Um, it's not like the seat's sitting up there nice and tall. All right, I think the next step is to put on the runners. Okay, so it says to cut them to length if required and then fit the groove of the warmed runner onto the steel runner and attach the front edge to the steel runner. So it kind of looks like that. So as you can see in the diagram, it just goes right up to the front and all the way to the back, which is, you know, makes sense. Now that I have them on the package, I see what they mean by attaching it to the front. You use these zip ties basically because there's a couple little holes at the end to do that. So this is the front and then the back is as long as you need it to be. All right, so I've got one on there right now. I basically uh, just lined everything up and took this little wooden mallet and banged down the uh, galvanized steel into the runner. And now I just got to secure it here at the top and we'll be good. We'll get the second one installed. This allows uh, the sled to just glide effortlessly over the snow, kind of like a ski. Well, it's kind of like a ski. So yeah, this one's just got to be on there with the uh, the zip tie well that wasn't too bad once I got the hang of it um, you know both runners are now on no big deal uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, I need a spot to put my feet obviously uh, on these runners so it comes with these two guys right here so we're gonna stick these uh, just on the back here so I have a spot to put my feet just figuring out a nice comfortable position yeah probably yeah, probably right there these are pretty easy as well same idea just bang them on to the uh, the runner. Perfect. That was fast. Now to finish up, I'm just going to put a few uh, standard safety things on there, like a couple of reflectors. So just attach it around the seat's middle bar here. And how this works uh, is that you can either put it like that, or if someone's sitting there, you can swing it out like so. Do a nice reflector. I've got a couple of stickers as well. So these are reflective stickers, and I'm my understanding is that they go right here by the seat. Well, there we go. That completes the unboxing and build of the T6 Esla sled, kick sled. So you can use these sleds just like this. Um, looks like my foot rests a little uneven. I'll fix that. Um, so you can use them like this, or like I said, you can uh, hitch a dog up to the front and uh, have them pull you. So of course, I'll let the dog pull me along. So let's take a look at this. This uh, attaches to the sled so he can pull me. So this is how this is going to go. Uh, I've got the bridle right there. That's going to actually attach to the frame of the sled. Got a bungee so that uh, when Royce pulls me and he stops, it's not going to hurt him. That's going to have a little bit of give there. And then there's the tug line. Of course, you can buy other setups too if you have multiple dogs. Probably wouldn't want more than two dogs pulling this. Um, but uh, that's the setup I got. Um, and of course, we'll be using the harness you guys saw earlier with the kick bike. So this is how we attach this to the frame. As you can see, the bridle um, comes with this bolt right here and this setup so we can attach directly onto the frame. So you basically replace, you just take out one of these screws and you put this on and then we'll be ready to roll. There we go. I've attached them to the frame there. It just makes it easier. I'll kind of cut these off next. I briefly want to show you how to fold this up um, for transport, like I talked earlier, like on the top of your car or whatever. So you just, un you just loosen these bolts up and you push this forward so that the seat comes off of the bolts. And then what you do is you push this down against the frame. Obviously, you don't want this dangling out, so you're going to kind of pull this in like that. And then you push the seat down. All right, actually, I think that's as far down as it'll go without loosening off any of the other bolts right here. Um, so it just kind of folds down like that. Well, thanks for joining me today for the build of the Esla T6, the large uh, kick sled. Super excited to get using it. Just need a little bit of snow first. So stay tuned to the channel. I'll definitely be including this in my videos. Looking forward to exploring uh, the wilderness on this kick sled. 
right. Hope you guys have a great week. As always, take care.